When you first drop a table onto a spreadsheet, Numbers picks a size that seems to be appropriate. But this won't always suit. Sometimes you'll need more or fewer columns or rows, and you'll want those columns and rows to be different sizes. On the Mac, the key to increasing or decreasing the number of rows or columns are these circles that appear on the end of the column letters that appear across the top and the row numbers that run down the side. Simply grabbing one of them and dragging towards or away from the origin point in the top left hand corner here is enough to change the size of your spreadsheet. What it doesn't do though is actually change the physical dimensions. It merely adds or removes columns or rows. To change the dimensions you need to select the whole spreadsheet by clicking the origin point in the top left to call up these handles that appear on the sides and corner. Dragging one of these doesn't change the number of columns or rows but it does change the size of each one in uniform so they all grow and shrink at the same time. Sometimes you won't want to do this, perhaps because you have a fat row of categories running down the left hand side and some thinner values in the main data area of the table. In these instances you'd work not with the whole table but just with the individual columns and rows and you can change the size of those by using the dividers in the bars that run up the left hand side and across the top of the table. Simply holding down on a divider and dragging it is enough to change the size of the column to the left or the row above it. You'll find that things work in a very similar fashion on iOS. Here we're using the iPad and we have a spreadsheet with just one table. It's active here in the main area and once again we can use these handles on the ends of the column or row areas to increase and decrease the number of columns and rows within the spreadsheet. We can also tap on the origin point to select the whole spreadsheet and call up the grab handles that appear to the right and the bottom of the table and therefore increase everything in sync. And as you can see Numbers calls up a guideline here to show us when we're keeping everything in proportion. Once again we can select just a single column and drag the end of that to increase or decrease its width and we can do the same with a row, increasing or decreasing the depth by dragging on the divider between the two rows. It's a similar story if you're working on iCloud through the browser but instead of having circles at the end of each row and column we have these textured areas. Dragging them once again changes the number of rows and columns within the table and there's also a handle in the bottom right which lets us change the two in sync. We can of course change just individual parts by holding down on the divider between the columns or between the rows and dragging as appropriate to change their size.